Okay, we are gonna do a one magazine collage challenge. You may not be able to tell from this, but this is a June 1988L. How fun is that? Okay, so let's take a peek. Calvin Klein. Oh. A leather jacket. A le yeah. There used to be leather stores everywhere. I don't know when leather went out of fad, but it makes me a little sad. Are those ch children? Those are children. That's a child. I don't love that. Do not, oh, great eyes. Let's put a pin in her eyes. I have a whole bunch of these little sticks today. I can, I love her eyes. Maybe we do a black and white because I find a lot of the older magazines have more black and white. <laughs> Clinique. Dear L. Black and white. Polo. Oh, I would love a scratch and sniff for polo. Okay, Doggy, Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Okay, Roman Holiday. No idea. Very cute though. <gasps> do we do a man body? That's kind of fun. I'm putting another pin in. Maybe we do a girl head and a man body? I don't know. Maybe we do a boy and a girl. This is a, oh, I know him. Peter Gallagher. He was in While You Were Sleeping. I've never seen him in anything after that. Okay, there's some green. Gray flannel. Oh, Jeff Goldblum. I love Jeff Goldblum. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that's kind of cute. Does that go with our man? Look there, there's a lot of suits in. Okay, I for sure am gonna do something with the suit people. I don't know yet what, but I am enthralled. I wore lots of suits too. I'm not judging, don't, don't think that I'm judging at all. Where'd our soup guy go? And what you need to know is especially on Michelle Pfeiffer's, those are shoulder pads. We had shoulder pads in all our suits. It was, it was mandatory. What is that? I don't know who that is. See, I have more of a, ch oh, I love that. Look at how beautiful that background is. Look how beautiful this is. I love that. I might use that for something else. But that is really cool. We'll have to keep that in mind. Finlandia, Eternity. They got good pictures in here. Oh, this is nice paper. Nice paper. Nice paper is hard to emboss on. Look at how fun that is. Grand Marnier. Ooh, this is like a little, uh, like a little beach scene. Do we want to play with that? Maybe we'll play with that. I don't know. Let's put a pin in it. Do we have another pin? Oh, the big eyes. Okay, so now we have two pins. Do not pick on me because my pins are never pins. They're always Virginia Slims. I smoke those, of course. A naked woman. All right. I don't love how... Oh, what is this page? It's very shiny. Jose A. Bear. Oh, that's a good color for the um, background. Screwdrivers. That's what I use. Poison. See? The 80s were my jam. Okay, we might be able to use her eyes. 
Monet was a brand of cheap, <laughs> cheap costume jewelry. Wow. Maybe they had a, a luxury line. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Oh, Elizabeth. Ooh, there's big eyes. What are those? Finger watches? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Finger watches. What will they think of next? Let me just tell you. I was a girl of the 80s and finger watches never made it to Sagertown, Pennsylvania. Just look, islands in the stream. It was a very popular song. I should never sing. Uh, high Speed Cabin. Prelude Honda. That was very popular. Hondas. Mm, cute suits. Ooh, nice big head. A diversity. Yay, body and soul. I'm not finding too many good heads. We got a couple. We got a couple things we could use for heads if we need to. I kind of like that. Um, I kind of like that background. But there's a lot of turned sideways heads. And a lot of strange heads. See, they're all turned sideways. There are lots of profiles. Ooh, I kind of love her. She's got a great neck, too. <sighs> Could we find a funky hat for her? Oh, I kind of love her. Okay, we're going to, we're going to pull her out because she's just an amazing head. But I think I need a hat. So now my goal is a hat. And this girl is exactly the same size as this girl. She may even be that girl. So we're gonna use her for the other head. I don't know yet what's going on. I never leave their eyes. There's a real hat. I don't want a real hat. That wouldn't be fun. There's another child. Maybe this is why I don't care for using children, because in the 80s, they were super um, exploited. Okay. Ooh, that's cool. I'm going to use that. I think I had belts like that. Oh, look, we also have some black and white on her that we can use. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we got black and white, two heads, two bodies. I need hats. I need a background. I need some stuff. But I wasn't looking for hats when I started, so I don't think I ever smoked Newports. I know it's shocking. Is that a leg watch? So there were finger watches and leg watches. I don't remember any of this. Ooh, big glasses. We could maybe use big glasses, but I don't think so. It didn't like, I didn't go, ooh, big glasses. I went, oh, big glasses. So, more children. Okay. Chris Everett. I had hair like that. Probably had glasses. I did smoke capris. There you go. Okay, let's look for hats as we see a giant hat, but I want something that isn't really a hat. Okay, so we have, I kind of feel like those girls match, their faces match. Her eyes are way too big for that face. So we have, so this is out, we can maybe do a different one, but 
we have to figure out something else. So there's enough of this same kind of gold there that I could maybe do something with that. Okay. Just that color. Big hair, big hair don't care. I just did Desi's hair the other day with big hair. She was very concerned with the amount of ozone we put into the uh, atmosphere and she does not like the smell of aerosol hairspray at all. At all. Okay, so we have black and white. I do like that um, we have black and white, we have gold. Esprit. I think I missed that the first time. Okay, okay. Oh, I do love that. And I do love them. Okay, we're going to take this for this project. All right, do we make this a two pager? Two pages wide and you I think we're gonna make this a fancy one and we may need this water where's our thing no that water does not match that okay let's keep looking okay I'm definitely gonna use this I don't know how yet but it's gonna be in there Vavoom! I had vavoom. I had everything you could use to keep your hair up. This would make good. We'll do another one out of this magazine. Although I just used the good eyes. But there's a lot of stuff. I kind of feel like... Actually, you know what? This is going to go with this later. We're gonna do another dark one out of here, but for right now, we're just gonna use what we have. So, we have an orange, which I think is really cool, a seashell, a beach, and a beach. We have some gold stuff. We have two heads, and now I feel like this could be on one page. And we have a bunch of black and white, and we have that. So, I think we're gonna be okay. I think I may have, oh, do I need some background stuff? <laughs> See, if I was gonna do black background stuff, we can use that. Maybe a little black and white. Okay, let's just real quick, I know there was that gray flannel guy. There. But I kind of feel like I want black, don't you? Like, not gray, black. Although, let's do this. No. Yes. So I'm going to use this for part of the border and then the black and white for the rest of the border. Okay, I'm going to cut this out and I will be back. So this is from our L magazine from the 80s. And I think, um, so something super funny. Hold on, where is it? So Michelle Pfeiffer was smoking in this. And you see me go through the ads of these old magazines and, and say I smoked this or I smoked that. What I think younger people may not understand is smoking was ubiquitous, right? Like we all smoked. We all smoked everywhere. My mom would take us around in the... Um, in the grocery store with a cigarette hanging between her fingers. I mean, it was just a thing. It, everybody smoked and, and everybody did it. So I think it's hard for people to understand now. Oh, you know what? I kind of like that we have this because look, we have this. I think I snuck this from somewhere else, but it's the only thing I'm sneaking into my one magazine collage. Okay, I think I may use this page. But hang on, let's see if we can get everything on here. 
or if this is gonna have to be a two-page spread. And if it's gotta be a, oh, this isn't ever gonna fit. Hold on, we have this girl, this girl. So we have her on this suit, and I'm gonna do something super fun with this suit. So that would kind of fit, huh? Hold on, Where's where did Michelle go? She was just here. I don't want this to be too busy. Oh, I think this is a two-pager. Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. I need two pages that are the same color. Oh, we could do a craft. I'm running out of black. Oh, there's a black page by Chris Pine. I almost feel like <laughs> I almost feel like doing the white now is my challenge. Oh, I have a dark and broody one coming up. Do we want to try to do it? What, what would happen if we tried to do light and dark? And this is the Dilutions Classic Journal, um, which is half, which is three different kinds of paper. So we have, um, we have craft, we have cardstock, black, and craft. All right, so this gal goes on here. Maybe I just need to cut this because I kind of want her head to be straight. Oh, that'll fit right there, right? Okay, so what if we put her there? We put our suit girl here. Or do we want them to kind of be together in the middle? Oh, I hardly ever do that. Because I have, I have some stuff, right? So we have this that's kind of cool. We have this that I sort of picture framing the top. Top, top. The, don't worry about this background. We're going to paint something over that background. Or use the same kind of thing on this. Okay, we have this really cool kind of seashell beach vibey thing going on, which I just absolutely love. I think it's super fun. I don't necessarily want the Grand Marnier, but I do kind of want the beach background. Um, okay, so we have that, we have that, we have, okay, I feel like that would be a waste of the black background, so we're going to use two cardstock pages. Sometimes I open up the book and I know exactly what I'm going to do, and sometimes I have to audition pages, so this is what we're going to do today. All right, so let's start sticking stuff down, and then we'll start to know more so what we want to do. Um, I almost feel like I love, I love this kind of stuff. I love the graphicness of that. Okay, let's get out our big scissors and let's start cutting stuff up. Because until we do that, we're not going to know what's going on. So I need to get her skin color out. And I need to get this side of her... And a big belt was very popular in the 80s. You just had to have a big belt like this. Okay, we're going to cut our belt right down the middle. And then I'm going to cut this down the middle. And I'm going to cut this apart at about the same height. And then I'm going to cut this in half. Okay, so we've got some fun stuff. I almost feel like let's cut these in half again. Because I'm going to do something fun with the, with the people. Diane Ravely, who's one of my favorite collage artists, just released a new... Um, stamp set where she does her okay i'm gonna cut this in half while we talk where she does her um doodling where she paints and i took a class in how to paint collage from her um which was amazing and um but i'll put a picture of it up in here right and a link in the the description below so you can buy it it is a way for you to 
um, use her stamps and she's all, oh, this works perfectly. And she's already doodled the designs that you would normally have to paint. I don't know if, if that, if that's hard to understand, but it's, it's really amazing. So I'll, I'll put a picture so you see it. I was just like, ooh, squee. All right, I don't usually put whole big pieces of background on, but look how cool this looks. We're gonna put these backwards. And that's a little tip I learned from graphic design on the internet, is sometimes if you have something cool like this, but it doesn't really work the way you want it to, you can just flip the two sides and put them together I'm gonna make this the top. Was that a bug that just crawled by? Okay, I live in Florida, you guys, and, and I know that people that live in other places get freaked out by bugs because, you know, they don't have bugs everywhere. We have bugs everywhere. We have lizards everywhere. It's just, we're crawling with creatures. And it's so funny because after a while, I've lived in Florida. I lived 95 to like 2009, 95. So I lived almost 20 years before and now I'm back and I've been here almost like five years now. I don't know if Johnny would know. I'm really bad with time. Um, but I've lived in Florida for a very long time. Anyways, long story short, too late. Okay. Now, let's see, I love that. This may be more of a glue book painted page. Okay, now I do think I want this to be on the top of the corners. Ooh, and that'll get us to the, over to there, not quite. I can fake that. Obviously, I was not a good middle of the line cutter. Okay, and then I have all these black and whites and then maybe this, but this isn't official, so if I don't have to use it, I won't. Look, there's some other little pieces of black and white from that girl. Oh, and we have this fun white. I have plenty of black and white. Not a problem. Okay, okay. So let's start figuring out our edges. There should be another little piece of that fun black and white. Oh yeah, look, it's an ant. Did you, did, when you were a little kid, did you sing the, uh, the dead ant song? Dead ant, dead ant, dead ant, dead ant. Just me? Okay. All right. Let's see. I like that. I like, I'm going to keep this kind of pristine. Let's start putting some stuff down though. I think I want that there. We'll make this super bold and graphic with the stripies on the edge. And then let's do the other black one with the stripies on the edge. There we go. Well, maybe I don't need that blue up there. Maybe I need more stripies. Well, I think I need more stripies and not the blue. Oh yeah, that way. Okay, I think the blue got, got ixnayed because I think we're gonna go all black and white around here. Okay, out, out, damn you spot. I don't know what that's from, but I think it's Shakespeare. Or it's just weird Tara Jacobson, or you know what it could be? It could be um, Looney Tunes. Oftentimes, there's a slight chance that my re my cultural references come from Looney Tunes. Okay, do we want, I think I want black down here, but I don't want to cover my shell. So I'm just going to do black down here. And if we run out of black and white, we can um, scavenge because it's sticking over the edge of the page. Oh, I've never done one like this before. This is fake. All right, there we go. Now we got these guys, corners, corners. Yeah, this is definitely more glue book than um, like my normal collage where we paint the background and maybe do some stenciling and stuff like that. This is more 
using magazine pieces, but a lot of times, honestly, I don't, especially with these one magazine collage challenges, I don't have enough magazine pieces, even if I wanted to do something like that, um, to fill them in. I just, I just don't. Um, okay. Ooh, do we want to do a little piece of this here? Yep, we're going to cut that in half. We're going to be playing with, I, this evening, I'm going to be playing with black and white a lot. I love black and white. I actually love black. It's just that white's the opposite of it. Okay, a little piece of schmudgies there. I love that. I just want to get some interest. Okay, so if we do this down here, we're all the way around. I kind of like that little, there we go. So we're going to do this. Oh, I'm going to have to break out my Nuvo. One of the gals said that we've, we've bought Amazon out of Nuvo, but I just checked and um, I think it was uh, scrapbook.com has Nuvo and I will put a link to that below. It is my favorite glue for collage by far. You'll see I always use it. It dries clear. It always sticks. The nozzle doesn't clog. I know I sound like a broken record, but I do magazine collage every day, right? So I can't have, oh, I love that. I love this, but I wanna cut some of that. Yeah, I wanna cut some of that off. So we're gonna cut these in half. Right there. Maybe right there to cover that. There we go. Yep, we're going to do that and that. Oh, this is exciting. This is really different. And I'm just ignoring the fact that I don't like the Grand Marnier bottles being there because this is, um, this is the one thing about magazine collage that you need to get used to is you get yourself all twisted about weird things and then five layers later, you're like, oh, they just went away. Oh, they're gone. I don't even have to worry about them. So I have a feeling, I've got a feeling that tonight could be a good night. Um, I have a feeling that some at least of my people will be over there, right, right. Okay, and I went along the Grand Marnier bottle. Okay, there we go. Oh, <laughs> I guess I didn't go right along the Grand Marnier bottle. And then I feel like I'm just gonna fill the rest in with doodling around my people. Cause don't forget, we have people to put on, we got stuff to do. Um, I'm not gonna get freaky about, I think I have a lot of glue on my hands. Okay, let's get back to our people. So, nope, this is the This is this paper doll. So, let's go ahead and stick this together to make a paper doll. Cuz this is going to be straight up. I don't like I this is going to be kind of a linear one. And I will cut off her neck in a wee minute and finish sticking her down. Okay, so she's there. Where's Michelle Pfeiffer's body and her weird head? Okay, we gotta be careful because this needs cut off. Oh, I got plenty of room for her. Okay, let's make a paper doll of her. Oh, that looks great. Michelle Pfeiffer looks great with a weird other person's head on her. Okay, I feel like I could glue her down. I like right where she is. I have to fix her neck. Maybe her hair. But Michelle Pfeiffer is doing a great job. Not too Frankenstein-y. Oh, if you don't want to glue your stuff to your stuff, see how I just glued on the bottom part? You might not like having glue goobers everywhere. 
having glue goobers everywhere doesn't bother me. If you don't want glue goobers, don't glue on your stuff, right? Right. Take it off to the side. Here we go. Oh, Michelle Pfeiffer stuck down. All right, not my shit, Michelle Pfeiffer. So what we need to do now is we need to give her a little haircut to the edge of her suit and then come right up here and make her a neck. And we'll probably give her an even bigger haircut because that girl doesn't have much hair. And I call this making paper dolls. So now her neck is exactly the right size for her body, which makes it a lot easier for me. So I think I'm gonna give her a cute little bob and then come right in here to her neck or her chin, excuse me. And then cut right along her chin and then I'll see if I wanna do even more haircut, but that is generally how. Oh, cute. I like her haircut. Okay, we'll give her a little bob over here. Maybe other people should let me cut their hair. None of my kids will let me cut their hair anymore. Oh, you know what? I want to make a flip up. I'm going to make little flippies. I like a little flippy in their hair. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come here, bring this to a point, and then just cut it in a little bit. Whoop, and make a little flippy at the end. And we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to come down here, come in. Make a little flippy at the end. Now we have to decide, where's the bottom of this page? Okay, I don't love his shoes anyways. So I'm pretty good with right there. What's this? Oh, that's hair. Oh my gosh, we got so much hair sticking out. She had a lot of hair. Oh, that looks a lot better. Okay, before we stick her down, let's see what else we have. We have what could be kind of a crown over here. Oh, I kind of love that. That was easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, I have a feeling you guys, this is gonna be a good one. I've got a feeling that tonight is a good night. Okay, there we go. Like a little golden headdress. Do we want to move it down a little bit? Yeah, I want to move it down a teeny bit like that. Okay, she's odd looking. Now this girl, I was thinking we could use some of this to be like a tiara. Oh, see, and then I'm gonna to wanna to go behind her ear I don't know. I've been letting people keep their ears for the last few. It's not like me. So like a little... Headdress thing. Yeah. I like that. Tara Jacobson. Giver and takers of ears. Oh, mighty ear woman, let us keep our ears. Okay, do we want to move that down so we don't see her hair? And Oh, we don't see the other girl's hair. So let's do that. Let's do this. Let's get her flippy hair. Well, I'm not keeping the whole circle, so let's come along here. There we go, that's cute. 
And then this is going to come kind of a little, just a little bit out from there. There we go. Uh, don't worry. I'm going to clean it up. You guys worry so much. And I have two other little things that you might not even know about with this. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I can cut this part of her hair off. Ooh, this is very exciting. I don't know. I feel like this one's a special one. Maybe it's just after doing hundreds of them I'm getting better. <laughs> Please, God. All right, do we want to see her whole weird head? I don't think I need to. And then I have two. Oops. Oopsie poopsie. I have two little pieces. Where are they? There's one. Where's the another one? Uh-oh. Did it get lost on the way over? Darn it. Sometimes that happens. But I could give her a kind of an earring with that. <gasps> no, I want to do kind of like that. Okay, so we probably will keep that whole thing there and just give her a font. Yep, that's exactly what I want. And I think the other one just left, but I don't need it. Oh, that's cute. I feel like that's super cute. All right, and then I thought this could be like a rainbow. And maybe this could be the sun. Do we want the rainbow to be... Oh, we could put the rainbow on her hand. Oh, I kind of like that. And do we want this to be the sun peeking up behind it? We lose one of our birds, but that could be okay. Oh, I like that. What do you think? Oh, I think that's fun. Yay. Oh, we got to glue down our sun, huh? I got too excited. Okay, so our sun's gonna go right there. I know it's an orange. Okay, we're covering up our little birdie. Let's put this on real quick and see. I feel like that's okay, but I don't want this to stick out and this is why we can't have nice things because we cut glue with our scissors there we go okay all right okay i'm gonna glue her down and then the rest of this is going to be a bunch of doodling and doing the diane reevely suits I'm super excited about that. All right, let's get this down. I'll show you the whole thing, and then I'm going to go and doodle and be back. Look how cute that... Oh. <laughs> I didn't glue down the other side of her, t of her whatever this thing is. Tiara? Yeah, I guess we're going to go with that. That did not get, so, so it didn't get glued to her head and it didn't get glued to the paper. This is what I'm talking about. When we have weird stuff that isn't glued down, this is precisely it, peeps. Okay, okay, let's see. I feel like there's, yep, see that whole little side there didn't get glued down. Cool. Okay, so this is this one, and I'm going to doodle, and I will be back. Okay, so I love this, right? Like, I'm not unhappy at all with this. Um, I think that there's a few things that I want to do. I'm not sure I'm going to mess with their faces. Usually, I always mess with their faces, 
but for right now I don't think I'm going to, but I do think I want to um, paint, because I painted all the places that were craft paper. I think I want to paint inside my rainbow white just to make it a little bit more standy outy, like the jewels of it. I think that'll make that do that. We may have to come in with another coat of white. Hold on, let me turn my book. Because you always want to turn your book to make it easy for you to color. I don't think I, nope, I just checked. I don't have my granny glasses with me. So we're going to just have to pray that we can see. I have like 5 million pairs and then I have a pair of real glasses that I wear when I go out. So I can see near and far. You would think I would just put a couple of pairs of those in here. <laughs> but no, that would be too easy. I was wondering last night, as I was looking at this, because I sit and I look at them a lot. There's a, <laughs> that's good video where I'm just sitting there looking, not talking, right? Um, I was wondering if I should do like the, um, so number one, I could have cut these out, right? So let's go through my thought process. I could have cut out in between these and then you would be able to see all the waves and stuff behind there. Um, but I don't think that this um, rainbow would show up as much. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm ignoring the fact that I painted them in fancy suits. I showed you the, the picture of um, how Diane Reevely has those cool stamp sets with all the um, description. Well, I took a class from Diane on how to paint people. And you would think, oh, you just, you know, slap some stuff on and they look normal. But that is not true. <laughs> we had a four day class on how to paint people. Um, so, that is something I might do later. This isn't my painted journal. I have a whole journal where I painted people. I might come in and paint some hair for them, but that's not what this is. Uh, I will go, what I am gonna do though, do, do, do with you is get my purple. Yep, I'm gonna get purple in here. And if you want to really accentuate kind of the, um, the wrinkles in their clothes, I use, this is India ink, which is a permanent ink. I, and then you want to go under anywhere there would be a shadow. So we're going to come under where there's a shadow. And then, oops, there'll be a shadow here. Well, I guess I'm not going to go where the shadows would be with the white. And then I'm going to use a yellow in the ink pen to kind of blend that out because I don't want that to be a line. I want it to be more of a shading. And because it was the 80s, he had very crinkly pants. Because they were large pants. They were a large pant, let's just say. No judgment. Okay. And then over here, we're going to do some shading where the knees come. And you would never notice it looking at this picture, but you're going to believe. And let's do under his belt and kind of around here, because this would be a little bit darker, mostly. Um, let's do some shading around his cuffs and then inside his cuffs. Anyways. Um, so. I will put a link to Diane's class if you want to take that. It's amazing. I really enjoyed her class. Um, but she teaches you how to um, be able to color your uh, 
magazine collage images, which I'm here to tell you makes a tremendous difference in how you can pick something. I guess you could have just left um, their suits the way they were and it would have been okay, right? It, there's nothing wrong with that. But for me, I really feel like um, knowing how to color them gives me the ability, oops, did I not? I don't think I black penned the edge of that suit. Uh, this one. Um, gives me the ability to use all different images that I wouldn't necessarily have been able to use. And I probably will draw in hair on these girls. Ooh, do we like how, oh my gosh. I kind of like how that white that isn't perfect is sort of mimicking water. What do you think? I think so. I think I like it. So stuff I did last night, I painted them. I guess that's all I did, I painted them. Um, maybe I will put like a little shadow under here. And I'm not outlining these gals because, who do I want to do? Oh, I think I want to do a shadow under each line of this. So we're highlighting that we have a rainbow. And this is just a India ink pit pen. And I'm gonna go in with one layer less blue too. I guess this is turning out to look a little bit like because I'm not, I'm deliberately not being careful, right? Like I'm deliberately not trying to make that nice and smooth because I want to keep up that feeling of um, the waves. Oh, I'm kind of loving how this turned out. I have to be careful because I'm a super righty. Like I have no, um, no ambidexterity. My son has ambidexterity, but like when I get over here, I'm really bad at like, Ugh. oh, I think this turned out cute. All right, I have something awesome to share with you guys. So, if you watch me a lot, you know that I always have this ring on. And that is my adoption ring. So, me and Johnny and Brady and Josiah and Desi all have our adoption rings. And this has the date that we were adopted. And it says, what I can't remember what it says in there. I put something I love. Forever family. Okay? Um... That's my adoption ring. You've always seen me wear that. I haven't been able to wear my wedding rings lately because I had gained some weight during COVID. Some of us did. and um, But just this week, I, I lost enough weight that I can do that. I've been riding my bike. So I'm losing it the healthy way. My friend Kirsten, who's an Ironman competitor, says you can't lose weight in the kitchen. So I've been riding the stupid bike every morning and it's been working. So... This is done. So things I want to talk to you about about it are they are definitely the focus because they're kind of the only color, right? I kept all of this black and white. I think that frames it super nicely. Um, I might do a shading on the outside of them later. I might do big hair on them. I haven't decided. But this is one of those ones that you can just stop and you can say, I love how it looks. I'm going to come back to it later and it will be fine. I kind of love how that turned out now. Um, but that's it for this one today. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.